Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So I'm going to do a relaxation session. And uh, there will be two versions of this. There'll be one with me talking. I was going to say the other one will be completely silent. That won't. It'll have music. uh, Background music. And the one with music will be about 51 minutes long. So then, you you know, you can have the option of whichever suits you really, I guess. So the main, main thing really is to get yourself into a comfortable position. So that could be lying down on a bed, sitting in a chair, maybe even lying on the floor, if that's what you want to do. It's, it's about what is comfortable for you. I don't, I wouldn't lie on the floor because it takes me about a month to get back up from the floor again, but if you're sitting in a chair, it's important that you have a chair that supports your body in the event of you falling asleep. So you need to have one that if you fell asleep, you're not going to fall out of the chair. That's important as well. So, because I know not all chairs have armrests, and years ago someone mentioned that they were listening to a relaxation session and they fell off their stool while they were listening. And I was like, Do people really listen sitting on a stool? And you know, what's next? Just standing on one leg, holding a banana on your head? I don't know. But anyway. You need to be comfortable and also safe. It's very important for that, for for you, for that to be the case. So, I suppose it's quite a nice start to just get in touch with how you're feeling. And I'll tell you how I'm feeling. So you can, you can give a little body scan of your own. I say little body scan, I mean, for me it's quite a big body scan, especially the belly, but it's more of a quick body scan, just getting in touch with how you're feeling in the different parts of your body. So, very quickly I noticed that the back of my neck is, and my shoulders are tense. And it's really weird, and I'm genuinely, this is genuine. as soon as I said that, they started to relax. Almost became tingly and started to relax. So now, because I'm sitting on the edge of my bed, uh, making this recording, and I can feel a bit of pressure on my lower back, the left side of my lower back where I have problems with and physical issues with it. So I'm noticing it's not tense as in stressed or uh, but it's a little bit painful. So there's a focus on that on my lower back, left side. Is it 
there's a feeling, I don't know if you know what I mean, but I notice that when physical pain starts to reduce, there's an itchiness. It's not not itch enough to need to scratch it. But it's also like there's a, an itchiness underneath the skin where the muscles are. And, and I think there's... You can get that a bit when a, a wound is healing. You know, when you start to feel that something's actually feeling better. It's no longer... It could be as simple as like a paper cut or, you know, the small cut on your hand and and after a couple of days it's sort of healing up and it doesn't hurt anymore but there's a little bit of itching underneath. It's like there's these little healing workers underneath your skin. You know, working hard to put everything right. And my lower back's completely comfortable now. And I haven't done anything. I haven't tried to do anything to cause my neck and my shoulders to relax. And I guess my lower back was relaxed as well. But it felt more like it was healing, like the the pain was just being removed. Uh, but it's, it feels fine now. I'm noticing in my stomach a little bit of tension. And I think that's more because of the way I'm sitting. I'm probably a little bit crouched. Not crouch, crouch, but perhaps um, putting a little bit of pressure on my belly. I'm not doing sit-ups or anything like that, but it's... But as I just focus on it, I'm not going to try and change my position much. I've straightened out a little bit. I'm just going to... I'm just going to really just acknowledge the feelings in my stomach. And again, it's the almost a, sort of a mixture between sort of tingliness and itchiness, but not itchy to scratch, just a gentle, it's quite fairly pleasurable really, it's not unpleasant, it's, it's calming, and as soon as it starts, it, it begins to reduce immediately. Ah, it feels quite nice. It's, I feel more relaxed now in my stomach. My chest, that feeling spread up. Spread to my chest, the, the feeling of calmness. And into my neck, my throat. And it's, it's kind of a strange thing because... When I'm talking, I'm using my mouth and my throat. Now, I'm not telling you that in a way as like an educational thing to explain that, you know, talking involves the mouth. I mean, we all know that. But when I'm talking about relaxing my throat, I'm actually, I'm actually using my throat at the same time.
so I do stop talking. It definitely relaxes more. In fact, my whole face is now feeling more relaxed. I, I felt it in my jaw. My jaw feels really loose right now. And I felt it in my eyelids and my forehead. It's almost like that whole area across from ear to ear, across my forehead, my nose, my eyes, a little bit off the top of my, uh, where my moustache is, kind of. top lip area and there's a different feeling that moves across the jaw and down my throat it's just it's no less relaxed it's just different it's a different feeling I think I generally probably hold a little bit more tension in my jaw than I would do in my forehead. And also I probably use my jaw because I talk more than I think. So I don't use my brain very often, I guess. So there's less activity going on in my head. It doesn't stop me talking. I'm using my jaw. I'm wiggling my tongue. It also feels relaxed. Now I'm noticing my back. The whole area of my spine. Pretty much from just about the shoulder area. Shoulder blade area. Down to... Not as far down as my lower back, not all the way down, but the all the way through the middle of my back, that spine area, probably the curved part. If you know, you know, if you were sort of leaning forward, the curved part of the spine, that part's. It could almost be sort of gently separating, just gently and safely separating a little bit and maybe stretching of its own accord, but gently and safely. And because the spine is so important, when the spine relaxes, you can just imagine all the signals, everything that we feel in our bodies travels through the spine from the brain. So when the spine itself is relaxed, what else can it do but to spread that sense of comfort and calmness to every part of your body? Because ultimately, the feeling in your spine is caused by your brain. And then the spine spreads it everywhere. That feeling of calmness safety and confidence in your own ability to let go completely feels really really nice so now I'm focusing on my hands again if you can follow me and if you want to focus on your hands or not you can imagine your hands in your mind. 
or you can just allow your body to feel however it's feeling and to relax in whichever way your body is now relaxing without any kind of judgment or comparing one part of the body to another part you know which part feels more relaxed than this part and it can feel nice to just accept the, that sense of comfort deep safe comfort naturally spreads throughout your body from your mind to your body and also from your body into your mind and your brain supplying all of these feelings the brain is the center of every physical feeling you have those physical feelings of comfort in your body we can actually say thank you to our brains for doing this for allowing you to feel this sense of relaxation spreading throughout your body And although it might sound a bit strange to be thanking your brain, it's actually quite a nice thing to do as well. When you think about it, if someone leaves a door open, holds a door open for you, you know, maybe you're carrying something and they, you know, hold the door open so you can get through without dropping what you're carrying. And we, we say thank you, don't we? We would have got by without that person holding the door open. We just put down what we had and opened it. It was nice that they did it. Of course it was lovely. But it's no biggie, you know. It's, it's nice we said thank you. And all they did was just open the door, hold it open. Our brain keeps us alive. Our brain gives us everything. It keeps every part of your body working. The brain does all of that. brain keeps you well, heals you and your body, allows you to feel relaxed and calm, allows you to enjoy being you. Gives you these feelings of continued confidence in your own ability to deal with all future situations in a calm and relaxed manner that may surprise you just easily you cope with everything that happens from now on with that sense of safety and relaxation mixed together with huge amount of confidence and 
as you shine that light of love at your brain as you say thank you you can say it out loud or you can say it inside your mind letting your brain know that you're grateful for all that it does for you because it does everything for you everything it also needs your guidance as to what you need So when you need more comfort, you can just ask for more comfort and your brain will give you that feeling of comfort spreading through your body, allowing you to experience more confidence more of a feeling of safety protecting you 24 hours a day every day of your life As you move in forward into the future, knowing that that confidence and safety travels ahead of you, making a pathway just for you to feel safe relaxed and positive safe relaxed and positive Deep in every part of your body, so deep, so very deep. sense of gratitude towards your brain for allowing you to feel completely relaxed and safe relaxed and 
so safe. Protecting every part of you, including your mind, 24 hours a day, every day from this moment onwards, knowing that you can confidently move through your life with this natural ability to let go completely Let go 